welcome to Western CPE Marketing Basecamp training. This is a video to show you how to go through a project, all the different pieces of a project in Basecamp, and so that you can find all the information you need about a project. So I'm going to pick a random project here. Um, how about one with, okay, this one has a lot of stuff on it. So, um, when you click on the project, you're going to see a couple of things. First of all, Basecamp is set up to be like pages that are stacking. So, you'll see how this line is here. It's really important. Uh, when you open a project, it's going to give you an overview of everything to do with that project. So, you'll see that this is self-study. It's a self-study project. It's an Oregon postcard, and it's the third one. Now, this is a code that we have. This tells us what project this is. Um, and uh, right here, you'll see a little description. So in the overview, there's a couple things. There's the heading, maybe a little more description. Here is an opportunity to invite more people. You may or may not have this capability. Different people have different levels of authority. But if you do, this would give you the option of inviting more people to the project. Catch up. Uh, is a great place to start when you open a project. We're going to click it and basically it's just telling you everything that's happened on this project. Um, the last day that any action happened was on uh, looks like the 25th and we invited Vern. Um, two people contributed. Here's some to-dos. Basically this is the end of the project and this is by the minute log which tells you exactly in every minute what happened. You can go back um, you can actually go to the day maybe that you missed and catch up and see what all happened. So that's that. Um, and then you have some things. You have discussions, completed to-dos, files, dates, and there's also an option of adding a text document. We don't use this option very often at all, if at all. Uh, the way that we, we actually use this is uh, two ways we create, or three ways actually, we create to-do lists, we add events to the calendar, and we conduct all of our work through discussions. So I'm going to start with discussions. Now one thing you'll see when I clicked on discussions, basically you'll notice that this page opens. Do you see how it's a little bit offset? The importance of this is that basically you can dial as deep as you want, and you'll always be able to go back to the page ahead or a few pages back where you started. That's really important. So uh, let's say I want to go back to the main page for Oregon Postcard. I skip all those steps and just go right back there. So actually where we'll start is on events. So these are all the events. Now this is maybe, uh, let me show some past events. We didn't have very many events on this project. Um, we had that the project lands and we have that the project went to the printer. Those are basically the two events that are important marketing. Um, and then you have discussions. Discussions, you can either click here or you can click here. It's going to show you the last discussions, but it doesn't mean that that's all of the discussions, but in this case it happens to be. So uh, the latest is always going to be on the top. So if you want to see this discussion, this was a discussion about graphics. This is where it started. Um, Christian had a to-do to do the graphics, and so he actually put a few thoughts here and attached these different versions. And then we had to, we went back and forth, we had some conversations, we had some things that changed, and you can see there was a lot of work on this, and this is where it finally ended up. So you'll see that this is opening, this gives you the opportunity to look at this piece. And it opens it up in your browser as a PDF, uh, which you can then view big, you can view small, you can get closer, you can save it, or you can print it directly. Or you can go back. So that's one discussion right there. Now, you'll notice I'm going to go back to the main. I can go back into discussions, and I can look at copy edits. This was the conversation about copy editing. And this was another conversation about 
the graphics. So basically, uh, that's how discussion works. You'll notice that there are all these files added to these discussions. The way that we operate in marketing is that there's two things you can do that we don't do. If you go down to to-do list, there's only one to-do and they've all been completed. But in a to-do list, you can actually add files to that to-do list. That's not how we do it in marketing. In marketing, when we want to add a file for anybody to review, we start a discussion. So, fake discussion, which, by the way, if you want to communicate people, I can't type. If you want to communicate with anybody on this, you could say, hey, just testing, ignore this, but what's up? Okay? So I could select everybody I want to get this. And if there's somebody who's not there, I could loop them in, type their name or their email, and I can post this message. It's going to show up here, but it's also going to show up in their inbox. So when you have a to-do list, obviously, you can see that these things were all done. Yay, we finished that. And then whether a file was added to a to-do list or added to a discussion, or add it to anything, it shows up in a list right here. So you can always go and just want, if you want to find a file, just go look at the file. So uh, I'm going to go back to projects and I'm going to show you uh, a project that is uh, a little more open. So quarter two emails. These are all the emails. Now you'll see we have a lot more upcoming events. In this tab, upcoming events will not only show all the to do's, but it'll also show anything that are coming up. And these are all the discussions. Obviously, because these are emails, we've had a lot of discussions. One of the things that we've just started doing is to make a header of our discussions that actually has the date, the land date, the division, and a little bit of information so that you can see, you know, with every discussion what it is. Because before we just said proof, copy edits, and you kind of had to go in and say, okay, which email are we talking about here? So, anyway, um, you can always peruse to do. This is an email that's coming up, so this is the to do list that's sitting here. You can, if you're in a project that has a lot of things going on, you can go through and look at who has what kind of to-dos, or you can just show all of them. You can see what to-dos are due this week, or later, or this week, or anything that's overdue. So it's a way to check in. These are current to-do lists. These are ones that have been completed. So that's to-dos. Um, Please don't check off a to-do list that's not assigned to you unless your name is Sarah Vogel. So this is all very, very self-explanatory, I think. Um, what I would encourage you to do is with the projects that you're in, to simply go through and look. Like we're doing a lot of combo emails for self-studying webcast this month. So the upcoming events obviously have a lot more to it. Okay, But I would encourage you to just look around. The most important thing for you to remember is that it's very intuitive. I think sometimes we think too hard about things, and that's why we can't find them. But you click dates, you're going to find dates that are important. If you click on files, it's going to give you a list of all the files. Um, images always preview. PDFs will first open in your browser and then give you the option of saving. And Office documents like Docs or uh, Excel documents, Word Docs, Excel, those are just going to simply download when you, when you see it. So when you're opening here, obviously, whenever you see an image, you can always go to the image and the discussion where the image actually lives. So those are the files. These are the dates. These are all the to-do lists that are due. And these are the discussions that are being had. So. The most important thing for you to remember in this is that everything lives in the discussion. Unless you have an assignment due, it lives in the discussion.
So that is how you operate within a project file. I hope that you found this some interesting.